And we're joined now by Catherine Hughes. Catherine, I have to ask, why didn't you have the whooping cough immunisation booster in the lead up to Riley's birth? When I was pregnant with Riley, I'd never heard about having a pregnancy booster for whooping cough. So my healthcare providers never mentioned it to me, hadn't read about it in any baby books or anything like that. So it's only really after Riley's death that the government announced that they would provide uh, free whooping cough boosters to every single pregnant mum in Australia, which is incredible. Actually, when do you hear that? Is it heartbreaking to hear that when they come out when it's too late for you? Or do you actually take some encouragement from that? It's heartbreaking and it's positive at the same time. It was too late to save our son, but hopefully it can protect other babies in Australia. Now, in Riley's case, he died in March, so this was nine months ago. You would have been living with this video, probably looked at it many, many times over that time. It would be very hard for you to watch. Why would you release it now? Um, I didn't want to release it at first because it, it is really upsetting, obviously, for our friends and family as well as ourselves. And while it is a confronting video, we decided to release it in the hopes that it will encourage just one more pregnant woman to have a pregnancy vaccination. Have you copped any flack f for what you've been doing? Yeah, while the overwhelming um, response has been very positive, there's definitely those who are opposed to vaccination who have, you know, written some pretty um, hurtful comments. But at the end of the day, they're entitled to their opinions. That's that's fine, but um, they're not entitled to their own facts. And to me, the facts are pretty pretty clear that um, immunisation works. It's great what you're doing, Catherine. And, and I mean, what was it what was it like sitting uh, by Riley's hospital bedside when he was? going through, you know, what he went through? It was the worst time in my life, um, watching your baby hooked up to machines and, and not able to breathe on their own and being told that your baby could die. It's just something that shouldn't happen in this day and age in a country with the health care that we have and, and the prevention that we have. So, yeah, just heart-wrenching, and I hope no other parent has to go through that. Catherine, thank you so much for sharing what is obviously a very painful experience for your whole family with the rest of Australia and, and getting that message through to try and save other children. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's an graphic way to share something so personal, but it really does make the message hit home, doesn't it, when it you does, see yeah. a newborn like that? Yeah, I guess in moments of tragedy like that, all you can do is try to create something positive, and she's certainly done that. Yeah, good so, on them for trying to do that.